Hey guys, so uh, I have a little hot dog here that I've kind of cut up and I've uh, put a lot of salt all around this hot dog and I let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. And what this does is the salt basically leaches water out of the hot dog so it really hardens the hot dog. This is probably three or four times harder than it, when it was yesterday without the salt. So it kind of leaches that water out, makes it a lot more hard. So it's almost like kind of like you're making jerky a little bit. So now the nice thing about this hot dog is that it'll stay on the hook a lot better and it's a lot harder for those fish to get the hot dog off the hook without getting hooked themselves. So what I'm going to do is cut a little piece about this and sometimes I'll go two, three, maybe four times bigger, it just depends. I'll take a nice little hook here and I want to go in through the skin and back out through the hot dog skin because the skin's the hardest spot. But uh, right here, this hot dog is probably three or four times harder than a regular hot dog and it still makes great bait. So I'll go ahead and chuck this out there and uh, see if uh, the fish are biting. Alright guys, we just caught a nice catfish on a piece of hot dog. My friend just caught it. I'm reeling it in here, it's getting tired out. I'm about ready to go ahead and net it. Looks like it's a couple pounds, maybe three pounds. If I can get it in here. There we go. Bring it up here. He's a nice, uh, probably three pound catfish here. Guys, I'm here at a local lake and uh, we just caught a nice, maybe two to three pound channel catfish right here. And uh, we caught them on the scented hot dogs. So we're using garlic scent and the salt on the hot dogs. And it uh, really seems to be working and it's definitely working better than just the plain old hot dogs. I think we're going to go ahead and release this guy. Hey guys, um, I'm at the local pond again, their local lake. And I caught another really nice bluegill and this is also on a hot dog. And uh, all we're using is, we're putting scent on it, so we're using salt and garlic to scent the hot dogs. And we're catching all kinds of fish. This is probably one of the biggest bluegill I've ever caught. And uh, we just caught a really nice catfish too with one of these scented hot dogs. And the hot dogs work, but uh, one thing that works even better is it seems like when you scent them with the salt and the garlic powder, it wears off after a couple minutes, but it really seems to entice the fish. So here's a really nice bluegill and I'm going to go ahead and release him too. Guys, we also just caught a nice bass. So we just caught a nice huge bluegill, a nice sized catfish, and now we got a nice sized bass all off that scented hot dog. So I'll zoom in on him here.